for me, it's like being able to play a, a brand new Transformers bot and, and bringing my own, you know, version of it into this world was a huge honor. Twitch and Thrash are two totally new Transformers born on Earth. You're part of the family now, too. They need a crash course on Transformer life. Ta-da! With less crashing. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Uh, congratulations on your role, Transformers or Earth Sparks. Uh, oh, so first, you. let me talk to the Transformers, <laughs> if you are that. You're, you're Terrans, you're born on Earth. So what is it like for you playing um, these new characters? And I might say they have really cool designs. Thank you. If you're not aware of a movie called Metropolis, the robots in Metropolis, that's I think that's what they're influenced by. So if you don't know, go take a look. But what was it like uh, playing those, those cool new characters? It was incredibly exciting. It was just very, very um, surreal to be able to come into this franchise and not only to be able to come into this franchise that we've all I think, grown up with and have known our whole lives, but then on top of that, for us, I think for me, it's like being able to play a, a brand new Transformers bot and, and bringing my own, you know, version of it into this world was a huge honor. Hmm. For you, Zina? Agreed. Yeah. Uh, I, as someone who's a fan of the franchise, it's it's really cool getting to play one of like uh, a, a character that with the transformation, like the robots that transform in all of the previous iterations of the franchise that I've I've grew up watching and been a fan of. Uh, so it's an incredible honor and blessing to be uh, a part of that canon and add a new uh, chapter in the story of 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 the world and of the canon. And it's cool because there's sort of a mystery that they, they don't even know what they are. The kids don't know what they are. So I'm curious to see like how it's going to evolve. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're like bad guys, who knows? <laughs> and, and their relationships with the kids, uh, adorable. Who doesn't want their own robot, right? <laughs> uh, so for, totally. for the kids, what, you know, uh, Sydney and Zion, what is it like for you playing these? You know, you guys have a great dynamic because usually they portray siblings as constantly at each other, but you guys have this really loving relationship or, or you know one of you tell the older tells the older child like you're gonna leave me like oh that's so sweet um that's actually funny you say that Zion and I are both only children so that's actually hilarious that we like have this great sibling bond and I guess it's kind of like uh, uh I guess ironic a little bit I guess like that always longing of you know actually wanting a real sibling so I'm sure like we're able to create that um bond but you know it's really fun to play on screen and just like have that back and forth you know we did, recorded this during the time of the pandemic so I definitely had a lot of energy for the show because you know it was like some of my only human interaction during that year so I definitely enjoyed and looked forward to it. And Zion you what was it like acting with your on-screen sister or brother or was, well you're you're a uh, male right? Yes I play a guy in the show even though I'm a girl so they usually do that with like a lot of teenage boy uh, character mm -hmm. so it, it was really cool to do that as well and like get into that uh male kind of space of my voice it was like a challenge and it was really fun yeah so for zion for you what was it like playing with on-screen brother <laughs> um it was really fun because like sydney said i'm an only child and we're both only children so it was really cool getting to finally get that sibling aspect of life because I've been begging my parents for a sibling and <laughs> when we met in pair in person it was really funny because we had a lot of things in common like I'm Zion Michaela Ronex, Sydney Michaela oh. I'm an only child too I'm it's not so this is so crazy oh, I, I I'm not an only child I have two sisters it's so <laughs> rare usually there's like never only children I know I know uh, well, parents not to perfection what can we say <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> well, it comes across on, on screen. So were you guys together in the booth? So uh, I was talking to um, um, Sissy and she was saying she did uh, the voiceover at, at home. So for you guys, what did you guys do? Um, do you want to start Sydney first? Yeah, at home on Zoom. So that was it. And I remember really recording it during the time, like the height of the pandemic, which when I was like, we, like scared to leave the house. So like being on Zoom was really all I had. So like I said, it was just like really great and something to look forward to, like these sessions at home, just, you know, seeing just some people on screen and of course being around these amazing actors, it definitely just like lit up my ear for sure. Yeah, it was certainly uh, an adjustment, you know, to have like, we had a lot of people on the zoom screens you know and so but it, it was great because the fact that they 
really made the effort to make sure we did do group records, especially early on, so that we could establish like the relationship between each other, get to know each other, and and just like feed off of each other's dynamic. It was it was lovely. Well, thank you so much. You guys have a great dynamic. I think that's going to be like the core of the show is you four, you know. Thank you. In the story. So thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.